So, Irina, you have an amazing healing testimony. If you want to share with our church and with those who are watching online, what has ha what happened to you? I was limping for a while, and I didn't really think much of it. And I, I was going to a wedding, and I stepped out of the car, and my knee started to break and, like, to crack. And then I got rushed into the emergency room, and they found a tumor. And they didn't really know what it was. And then I got transferred to a different hospital. And they said that I had osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer. Wow. Um, wow, that's, that's a little to digest in there. Irina, how old were you when you found out when, when this happened? I was 17 years old. Very, very young. Uh, she was just a sophomore, sophomore in high school just a limp on her leg. She did not imagine this. Nobody could have imagined, you know, you are just going through high school, just going through it, and then all of a sudden you have cancer. How did that affect your spiritual life, your family? How did that affect you? I was, uh, I was a Christian my whole life, but I didn't really follow, like, I didn't really follow God. I, I knew who he was, but I wasn't really living for him. So when I heard that I got cancer, I kind of just pushed God away. I didn't really want to do anything with God. And that made my process a little bit harder because I, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so you pushed God away. That was your first reaction. Many, many of us, when we go through hard process we think God like even though that we know about God we just push him we think this is not fair why is this happening to me why why are you allowing this into my life um Irina you also uh, but it didn't stay there so because she's here now so something happened <laughs> um Irina what happened you also told me that they kind of like said to you we don't know how how big is this you're gonna lose your leg what happened um Uh, I had a surgery and they didn't know if they were going to cut off my leg or they're going to keep it. And I had a dream that night that they were going to cut off my leg. And I just started crying and crying out to God and saying, God, I really want to live and I really want my leg. And that I just started praying and I just kept um, adding truth into my mind and just ignoring the negative. That is amazing. Come on, guys. Let's give it a clap to Jesus. He, she was remembering the truth. Even though that she, start, she claimed unto God. I mean, she has two legs right now. So praise to God. Praise to God. Um, Irina, after that, um, you told me you have 12 rounds of chemo, uh, five surgeries. I mean, she's whole and complete in Jesus' name. But there is something that when we were talking that you told me as well that you had some bitterness, some something in your heart. What, how was that affecting your life? And how, when you kind of like accepted Jesus back, how did it help you through your process? Um, I had a lot of unforgiveness towards my dad. And when I was going through the process, it was really hard to just being diagnosed with cancer and also having that unforgiveness. So... I started to cry out one night and just surrendering to God and surrendering like and just forgiving my dad at that time and I just felt so much peace and it just started living my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Peace and faithfulness to God. God is a God who doesn't only wants to heal us physically, but he wants to make us whole. He wants to just completely, we're trying, same as God. We are spirit, soul, and body. She, she, got, she got healed. Because she got healed through chemo and she got healed through surgeries. But as well, she got healing through the power of Christ. She got inner healing. She forgave her dad. And when she left that hospital, she was not only healed physically, but she was also healed emotionally. Right? Because what is the point if we're healed physically, but then there's still bitterness in our heart? God wants to do so much more than just physically heal us. He wants to heal us completely, fully, and totally because that's what we, be we belong to Him in Jesus' name. Come on, guys. Let's give it up to God. Come on, guys. He deserves better than this. Irina, what will be something that you can tell family members, a person who is going through 
life right now, you know, people who may be watching us in a hospital bed, family members who have children who are going through this, what can you, a word of advice, a word of encouragement, what can you tell them? So when you surrender to God, you will find your freedom. Um, that whatever like you're going through, just give it to God because he knows what he's going to do. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Harini, for sharing. Hallelujah. When you surrender to God, you find your freedom. You surrender and you find your freedom. You find your healing. You find everything. All glory to God.